Introduction in the depths of her being, she harbored a sigh that she dared not reveal in the real world. But when he entered her life, he ignited a fire within her, awakening the dormant naughty that yearned to break free. The Long Hot Summer, a film from 1958, showcases the directorial expertise of Martin Ritt and the screenwriting talents of Irving Ravitch and Harriet Frank Jr. This drama draws its narrative from the literary works of William Faulkner, specifically Spotted Horses, Barn Burning, and the novel The Hamlet. These sources provide the foundation for a story that unfolds in a southern setting, where themes of conflict, family dynamics, and societal expectations are explored through the interactions of complex characters. The film's title not only reflects the sultry southern atmosphere, but also the heated emotions and relationships that are central to the plot. The adaptation process involved in bringing Faulkner's stories to the screen required a careful balance of staying true to the original material, while also crafting a cinematic experience that resonates with audiences. The result is a film that stands as a testament to the enduring appeal of Faulkner's narratives and the skillful translation of his literary world into the visual medium of film. The 1958 film The Long Hot Summer draws its character dynamics and emotional undercurrents from the literary work of Tennessee Williams, particularly his 1955 play Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. The play's influence is evident in the movie's portrayal of complex family relationships, underlying tensions, and the exploration of human desires and disillusionments. The film adaptation, which stars Paul Newman, mirrors the play's atmospheric setting in the South and its examination of societal expectations and personal secrets. The characters in the long, hot summer embody the essence of William's writing as they navigate through the challenges of love, power, and identity in a tightly knit community. The movie, like the play, delves into the psychological landscapes of its characters, offering a window into their motivations and the fabric of the society they inhabit. In the 1958 film, The Long Hot Summer, Orson Welles portrays Will Varner, a 61-year-old widower who has found success as a businessman in Mississippi. Despite his achievements, Varner faces the challenge of his children's apparent disinterest and failure to continue the family's esteemed legacy. His disappointment is palpable as he navigates the complexities of family dynamics and expectations set against the backdrop of the Deep South societal pressures and traditions. The character of Will Varner is central to the narrative, embodying the generational conflicts and personal struggles that drive the story forward. In the 1958 film, The Long Hot Summer, the Varner family is at the heart of the story, with the patriarch Will Varner, played by Orson Welles, being a dominant force in both the business and personal lives of his children. His son Jody, portrayed by Anthony Franciosa, shows little to no initiative or drive to take on his father's business legacy, leading to Will's frustration and disappointment. Jody's lack of ambition stands in stark contrast to his sister Clara, played by Joanne Woodward, who is intelligent and independent. Despite her father's eagerness to see her married, Clara remains disinterested in the idea, causing further tension within the family. The dynamics between the ambitious father, the aimless son, and the self-reliant daughter reflect the generational and ideological conflicts that drive the narrative forward. In the sweltering heat of the Mississippi summer, Ben Quick, a charismatic and determined man, arrives in a small town with a reputation that precedes him. Known for his quick temper and alleged barn burning, he seeks a new start. His encounter with Jody Varner leads to an opportunity for sharecropping on the Varner plantation. Ben's industrious nature and savvy quickly catch the eye of the patriarch, Will Varner, who sees in him a reflection of his younger self. Will considers Ben as a suitable partner for his daughter, Clara, who has been resistant to the idea of marriage. Ben's presence stirs not only the possibility of business succession, but also the potential for familial ties, as he navigates the complex dynamics of the Varner household and the community at large. In the long, hot summer, the plot development is centered around the personal growth and interpersonal relationships of the main characters. Clara Varner, a schoolteacher, comes to terms with her own desires and aspirations beyond the societal expectations of her small southern town. Her journey is one of self-discovery and empowerment as she navigates the complexities of love and independence. Jody Varner, on the other hand, faces the challenge of living up to his father's expectations. His struggle is internal as he seeks to earn the respect and approval of his domineering father, Will Varner, who is a prominent figure in the community. 
The dynamics within the Varner family are further complicated by the arrival of Ben Quick, a charismatic drifter with a questionable past. Ben's integration into the Varner family and the town's social fabric is met with suspicion and intrigue, but his ambition and resilience eventually lead to a transformative impact on the family and himself. The intertwining of these character stories creates a narrative that reflects the tensions and desires of the human experience. During the production of The Long Hot Summer, Orson Welles encountered significant challenges. The filming took place in Louisiana, where the climate is known for its high temperatures and humidity. These conditions were particularly taxing for Welles, who had to perform under the scorching sun. To portray the character of Will Varner authentically, Welles was required to wear heavy makeup. The makeup, combined with the heat, created an uncomfortable and challenging environment for acting. Additionally, Wells' character was designed to have a distinctive look, which included a prosthetic nose. However, the adhesive used to secure the prosthetic often failed due to the excessive heat, causing the nose to become unglued. This issue required frequent attention and adjustments, disrupting the filming process and posing a persistent obstacle for Wells throughout the production. In the production of the 1958 film, The Long Hot Summer, the dynamic between the director and the lead actor was a notable aspect. Orson Welles, known for his strong personality and desire to have creative control over his projects, found himself at odds with the film's director, Martin Ritt. This clash of visions led to a palpable tension during the filming process. Welles, an established actor and director in his own right, was accustomed to steering his creative endeavors, which inevitably led to conflicts with Ritt's direction. Despite these challenges, Ritt is recognized for his adept handling of Wells' assertive nature, ensuring that the film's production moved forward. His ability to navigate the complexities of managing a high-profile actor while maintaining his directorial authority was crucial in bringing the project to completion. The film ultimately benefited from the creative energies of both Wells and Ritt despite the friction that arose from their differing approaches to the art of filmmaking. In the 1958 film, The Long Hot Summer, the connection between Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward was palpable, reflecting their real-life romance. Their performances as Ben Quick and Clara Varner were the first instance of them working together on screen, showcasing a natural rapport and emotional depth that resonated with audiences. This dynamic was not just acting, it was a genuine reflection of their feelings for each other, which were evident to all who watched them. The film, directed by Martin Ritt, was an adaptation of William Faulkner's works and set in the American South. It explored themes of family, power, and integrity. Newman's portrayal of a drifter who shakes up a small town and Woodward's role as the local school teacher and daughter of the town's most powerful man were central to the narrative. Their on-screen relationship evolved amidst the backdrop of tension and drama, mirroring the intensity of their developing off-screen relationship. The film concluded with the characters finding understanding and love foreshadowing Newman and Woodward's own journey as they married soon after the film's completion. Their partnership continued both on and off the screen for many years, making the long, hot summer a significant milestone in their careers and personal lives. In the 1958 film, The Long Hot Summer, the production team aimed to present an authentic representation of the South by choosing to film in actual Southern locations. This decision was made to give the audience a genuine feel of the southern setting and atmosphere. However, despite these efforts, the film faced criticism regarding the authenticity of the southern accents portrayed by the cast. The only exception was Joanne Woodward, whose southern accent was received positively. The rest of the cast, however, did not manage to convincingly portray the regional accent, leading to a discrepancy between the visual authenticity of the locales and the auditory accuracy of the accents. This aspect of the film highlights the challenges filmmakers face when trying to balance the visual elements with the auditory components to create a cohesive and believable setting. During the post-production phase of the 1958 film, The Long Hot Summer, director Martin Ritt encountered significant challenges with the dialogue of actor Orson Welles. The issues were pronounced enough that they necessitated a considerable amount of post-dubbing work. This process involved re-recording Wells' dialogue to ensure clarity and consistency with the rest of the film's audio track. The task was arduous and required precise attention to detail to maintain the integrity of the performance and the overall sound design of the movie. 
The efforts in post-dubbing were critical to the film's success, allowing audiences to fully engage with Wells' character and the story being told. Despite these hurdles, the film was completed and has since been recognized as a significant work in the history of cinema. In the 1958 film, The Long Hot Summer, Angela Lansbury portrayed the character with a sense of enjoyment, attributing the depth of her performance to director Martin Ritt. She acknowledged that Ritt played a significant role in bringing out the more provocative aspects of her character, as well as the overall sensual atmosphere of the movie. Lansbury's character was crafted with a deliberate naughtiness, a trait she embraced which added to the dynamic and tension within the film's narrative. Her performance was noted for its confidence and the ease with which she navigated the complexities of her role, enhancing the storytelling with her experienced screen presence. The 1958 film The Long Hot Summer received positive reviews from film critics upon its release. The movie's portrayal of complex characters and its exploration of social dynamics in the American South garnered appreciation. The performances, particularly that of Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward, were praised for their authenticity and depth. The film's success was significant in re-establishing Martin Ritt as a notable director in Hollywood. His direction was commended for its ability to elicit strong performances from the cast and for capturing the essence of the source material, William Faulkner's works, on which the film was based. This positive critical reception played a crucial role in the resurgence of Ritt's career, setting a precedent for his future projects in the industry. The Long Hot Summer is a film that stands out in the history of cinema for its exploration of complex family dynamics and societal expectations in the American South. Directed by Martin Ritt and released in 1958, the film features an ensemble cast led by Paul Newman, Joanne Woodward, and Orson Welles. The narrative follows the character Ben Quick, portrayed by Newman, who arrives in a small town and quickly finds himself entangled with the Varner family, a powerful clan that exerts significant influence over the community. The film delves into themes of ambition, desire, and the quest for power, as Quick's presence begins to unravel the intricate relationships within the Varner family. The screenplay, adapted from William Faulkner's works The Hamlet, The Town, and The Mansion, offers a rich portrayal of Southern life and its inherent challenges. The performances, particularly those of Newman and Woodward, are powerful and add depth to the film's portrayal of its characters' struggles and aspirations. The movie's title reflects not only the sweltering summer heat, but also the intense emotions and heated conflicts that arise throughout the story. The Long Hot Summer is recommended for those who appreciate classic films that provide a window into a bygone era and explore timeless human experiences. Its significance in classic cinema is underscored by its strong narrative, memorable performances, and the way it captures the essence of the literary source material. Watching this film offers an opportunity to witness the early careers of actors who would go on to become significant figures in Hollywood and to experience a story that resonates with audiences even today.